While we await the result of the ongoing match, let's focus uh, on the match between Pune and Gujarat. Now, Steve Smith's Pune team will look to boost their playoff hopes as they host Gujarat in their own backyard. And fans will hope once again for a special knock from MS Dhoni's bat. After struggling in the initial phase, Steve Smith's men have come back strongly, winning four out of the last five games. Pune is currently placed fourth in the points table with five wins in nine matches. Star all-rounder Ben Stokes uh, is still doubtful for the tie. The good thing, though, for Pune is... Good form of their star players, Steve Smith and MS Dhoni. Indian talent Manoj Tiwari and Rahul Tripathi too have delivered goods with the bat. Gujarat too is in contention for the playoff spot. Suresh Rena's men went down against Mumbai in the Super Over in the last match. The visitors needs, uh, need to win all the remaining matches to stay alive in the tournament. Gujarat suffered a massive blow as they have lost the services of Andrew Tai, who has been ruled out of the IPL due to a shoulder injury. He had taken a hat-trick for Gujarat earlier in the tournament. The crucial tie will kick off at 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time at the Maharashtra Cricket Association's International Stadium in Pune. Saurav Ganguly is live with us. Saurav, whenever Pune play, a lot of focus is usually on MS Dhoni. Are you happy with the way he has performed? Of course, uh, he was very good against Hyderabad, but besides that knock, he has just played a few cameos in this tournament. I don't think it's just a, it's just Dhoni. You know, at this present moment, Dhoni and the other members will be looking at uh, qualification. So more than individual performances, they'll be they'll be uh, looking at how they can how they can see it through as as a unit. And Dhoni is an important unit. Uh, important part of the unit. He's still got four or five games to go, and if he can get a couple of fifties, along with the likes of Manoj Tiwari, who's been in terrific form, you know, Tripathi, who's been in good form, Smith, who's been in good form, and Pune has got the combination right since the last three or four games. So uh, I think they would be looking at at the team as a whole rather than one individual. And and Dhoni turns up and plays an absolute blinder, which he's capable mm. at this stage. We'll see the scene through. See the team through. Absolutely. Absolutely, and uh, Pune play Gujarat today, isn't it, Dada? And Gujarat have done reasonably well in the tournament. Remember, they finished on top of the league stage last year, but this year they have lost some close matches. Where have they faltered? Yeah, true. Uh, like the one yesterday, uh, and I thought they should have won it against the Mumbai Indians. But that's the way this game goes. Momentum is very important in sport. You know, when you have the momentum, when you when you are in a habit of winning, you see through close games. Uh, that's always been the case with teams in world cricket, and and you can see that you can see that in, with Mumbai, you can see that with KKR. That moment the car crunch time comes, they see it through, and that's why they are on the top. But then, as you said, you know, once you make it to the last four, it's anybody's game, and 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 that's the way it is. Uh, I think for all this, uh, all the four teams which are below KKR and Mumbai, they would their first aim should be to get to the last four, and then on that day turn up and play better cricket. That's how they should look at it. Absolutely. Boria Majumdar is also live with us, our consulting editor. Boria, of course, focus on Dhoni, but also let's focus on Suresh Rena, who, due to his good performances, have put himself in contention for that uh, call-up for the Champions Trophy. Yes, he has, but he needs a big one. I mean, real, real impact will come with a big, big knock. I mean, Suresh Raina has done the 30s and 40s, and he got that amazing 80 against Calcutta, which I thought was an amazing innings. But since then, Suresh Raina, I mean, he's doing well, and he's also delivering with the ball. He's bowling four overs of off-spin pretty regularly now. But he needs a big innings. If he can deliver that for Gujarat Lions, he will certainly be in contention for the Champions Trophy. So, Boria, according to you, who has the edge in this match, Pune or Gujarat? You know, with Pune winning the toss and uh, opting to bowl, with the Gujarat bowling is just under par. I mean, and with Andrew Tai gone, you've got to say that the team chasing uh, will have the edge, and in this case, it has to be Pune. How do you rate uh, Ravindra Jadeja's performance? Do you think uh, IPL is an important tournament for him heading into the Champions Trophy? It is. It is. I mean, you expect Ravindra Jadeja to do all-round stuff given the way he's played for India. And when we interviewed him, Shobhith, he, he was very focused about the IPL also. But you need big runs. I mean, you don't need a 15 or a 20 or a 25. You need a 40 or a 50. And right. you need him to bowl those four overs of, of left-arm spin and not concede more than 25-30 given their bowling lineup. 
Okay, one final question uh, on this match, uh, Borya. Uh, what about Steve Smith? Uh, remember, heading into the IPL, he did not have the best of the test series against India. With the bat, he was phenomenal, but not off the field. A lot of controversies. But how has he performed as a captain in the IPL? Terrific. I mean, just think about it. Last year, Pune Super Giants had four wins of 14 games. They were last or second last rather. Hmm. This time five wins out of nine and if they win tonight, 99% they will be in the playoffs. So you've got to give it to Steve Smith. He's got the team together, leading from the front, delivering with the bat and doing well. Absolutely. Uh, let's quickly move on. Uh, breaking news coming in and Mumbai Indians uh, have uh, become the first team this season to qualify for the playoffs. Mumbai staged a remarkable comeback led by the captain Rohit Sharma to beat Bangalore by five wickets at the Wankhede Stadium. Now, Mumbai have eight wins from nine matches and are from ten matches and are sitting at the top of the points table with 16 points, set a target of 163. Mumbai did not have a smooth sail, uh, start but held their nerves to record their eighth win of the season. Rohit Sharma playing a captain's knock at crucial unbeaten innings of 56 runs of just 37 deliveries. What a super knock by Rohit Sharma. Uh, Borya, uh, Rohit Sharma is not opening but delivering, taking his team to the playoffs. Surely uh, he is the first pick that Virat Kohli will uh, select for the Champions Trophy squad. Oh, absolutely, Shobhit. I mean, I'm delighted. You and I keep talking about Rohit Sharma with Sora, with Michael, with everybody. Rohit Sharma is the second best player in an Indian ODI squad. There is no doubt about it in the batting. And the fact that he's come good, even in the last game he got a 50, was not able to take his team over the line. But today he's come good, taking his team over the line. And if you see some of his shots, that cover drive was, I thought, the best shot of the day uh, uh, in the, against Shane Watson. Rohit coming good is superb news for every Indian cricket fan. Absolutely, but it was not uh, good news uh, for uh, Virat Kohli and his team. Uh, Virat Kohli. Uh, and his team are surely now out of contention uh, for the playoff spot now. Sort of another win for Mumbai and virtually through to the playoffs. Uh, on the other hand, nothing going on in Bangalore's favour. Five matches now without a win. Mumbai Indians are on a roll. Mumbai Indians are a team on form. And RCB will be disappointed with their performance because they had a much better team than what they did this year. But that's the way this game goes, isn't it? That's the way you know. That's the way you you uh, you land yourselves up at some stages in T20 cricket. Absolutely, and Mumbai Indians, one of the strongest teams in the tournament, along with Kolkata, they have really surged ahead. Uh, but then there are third and fourth spot in the playoffs. There's really a race for it. Hyderabad is in contention for it, and Pune also is in contention for it. Punjab is in contention for it. Who are your picks for the playoffs, sort of? Yeah, absolutely. As you said, Gujarat, Sunrisers, Pune, and Punjab. Out of this, four two will go through. At the present moment, Pune and uh, and Sunrisers are a bit ahead, uh, and uh, and we'll have to wait and see because it's still f about five or six games left for each of them, and anything can happen. So uh, they are ahead, but ahead very very slightly.